Back on Inside Tennessee, putting politics aside, John. I wish folks could see us talking off camera as well, because the <laughs> conversation is literally as lively. All right, I want to get back to big ears on a couple things. First of all, um, last year in la in May, there was a really cool sort of big ears add-on, if you will, when you had Yo-Yo Ma come to town for that. Please do that again, or that something amazing. equally as cool. That was really uh, amazing, and I hope you're thinking about that. And then two, this spring with uh, big ears, we had some moments where artists were able to have sort of some add-on shows of their own. I'm thinking like Andre 3000, which was really cool. Can we look for more of that next year? Well, I, the Andre 3000 thing was a moment. Uh, you know, we we got a we. It's funny because in the office we were like this would be a perfect thing for big ears and we thought it was like completely unlikely we didn't even know that he was going to be doing uh, shows and then it turned out that the band that he'd been working with so much they've been to big ears oh. and so like Carlos Nino and that that whole crew and mm -hmm. so uh, we got a call right before Christmas and uh, it felt impossible uh, because we were already booked uh, we were almost you know approaching a sellout but uh, the conversation continued, and then when I saw what they were going to do with those residencies in New York, I was like, well, that's a great idea. We'll get, we can make that work, and, and so that's how that happened. Pretty successful, so, too. Yeah, but those are the kinds of things that you can never predict. You just have to uh, be willing to roll with the opportunity when it pops up. And do bring Yo-Yo Ma back, please. We will try. <laughs> the hard press from John. Yeah, so in all of these projects, what's your favorite? Do you like the conceptualizing, the collaborating, the execution? Is there a favorite part of that process? I like all of it, really. Yeah. Um, it, it's, a, it's a very rewarding thing to work with the artist and help them, um, you know, really present these unforgettable concerts, but also to, uh, to create that unforgettable experience for the audience themselves so you know that's it's it's a very uh, rewarding thing to be able to do um, but but also I love the planning of it I love speculating mm -hmm. you know trying to trying to put together the different pieces and you know it's kind of a jigsaw puzzle without yeah. knowing what the picture is supposed to look like a lot and, of detail. Uh, mm -hmm. and so it's a lot of fun it's a it's a creative thing for me to so we don't have much time so I'm gonna hit you with some blast questions and a little unfair <laughs> of me having lived through some of these I suspect with you but um, most challenging moment in the 20 years you were involved with Bonnaroo the single most challenging moment oh I know how Donna, much you love these Donna don't remember I I, I think you know the 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 we had such a great crew that I didn't I didn't have to live through many of the challenging moments. I think the the hardest thing to deal with was when we had some unfortunate deaths. Uh, mm -hmm. You know that that was mm -hmm. you know we, we went we went through several years without even having so much as a fist fight and uh, and then when we had the deaths which were almost always overdoses of some sort or another one of them was a medical condition uh, that was that was very very painful to Those deal with are and, tough. and you feel you know uh, helpless in in trying to uh, to make sure that it never happens again best non-music celeb you hung out with or met at Bonnaroo because there are quite a few that come through oh um, gosh <laughs> favorite I'll even put it that way um, you're really putting me on the spot. I know. Conan O'Brien. There you go. Yeah, That's a good had, one. We, yeah, we had a great hang with Conan O'Brien. Um, yeah, so. Might, might, <laughs> might have been uh, Louis Black. Louis Black, too. A yes. great time behind Arcade Fire with him going, <laughs> who would have thunk a Canadian band? That's all he said. <laughs> and um, just last question, the thing you'll miss the most now that you're not officially part of Bonnaroo? The people. Uh, you know, I, every year, uh, you know, year after year after year, it was like a family reunion. I, I think, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a it's a very unique group of individuals, but they're really wonderful, dedicated people, and so that uh, those experiences of being together year after year after year, I think it's. Uh, I used to imagine that it's probably the closest I'll ever come to running away and joining the circus. Mm -hmm. 
because it, the the level of commitment that's required you have to, to surrender to Bonnaroo. Yes, the, it, it 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 just it creates a bonding experience for everybody that's involved. That's just quite unlike anything I've ever experienced. Ashley Caps, we appreciate the time and so much of what you've done. Janet uh, said it well. I mean, you've had such an influence on this community and stayed in Knoxville to do it. So thank you for that. We appreciate you being here. And in this age where we talk about so much division, John, we see unity every year in the summer and it's in large part due to that man. So Absolutely. we appreciate you thank watching you. Inside Tennessee and we hope to see you next week right back here on Sunday morning. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.